Hello my soccer universe. I'm gonna make quite a few videos today and give them to you little by little uh, up until tomorrow. Um, yeah, you see the background. It's a lot of Bundesliga and then of course a lot of Lask Bundesliga. They haven't been playing. No, there was a whole cup round which I'm not gonna cover. Uh, cup rounds are getting more interesting later on. I think they have not been really big um, games in this round either. I think all the favorites got through. Maybe Hoffenheim had a little bit of a tough task. No, I want to give you a preview and then we we'll talk about the first round that happened already in Austria. And since I'm wearing Lask and yellow. If Lask wins, I'm always gonna wear it. And I Lasked out the German set as well because I made up all the remaining slots with Lask jerseys. Uh, so my six Bundesliga jerseys for now, they will get more during the season, I'm sure. Schalke probably is up next, I would assume, but let's see. So here are the projections for the Bundesliga. Yeah? The teams are sorted again by the way that the last season finished, except that we have Bielefeld and Stuttgart on the bottom, because those are the two promoted teams, Bremen just avoiding relegation, uh, and that's why I have the Bremen jersey back there. Um, and it's the Bundesliga. Bayern a huge fav favorite, 71% to become champions. Leipzig is ahead of Dortmund at the moment. Uh, and those three are also the awesome favorites to make the Champions League spots. Those are probably the most potent teams in Germany this season. Uh, we have to see with Gladbach and Leverkusen how it, how it, how it goes over Wolfsburg and Hoffenheim could get in there. I see also Frankfurt is giving a slight chance in there. They have been underperforming last season. Had a lot of loss in so on uh, in the squad as well. Um, when we look for relegation, yeah, it's the two that got promoted, although again, the ratings will probably soon be adjusted. So that's why I take this with a little bit of salt, but it's interesting to see the others that Bremen actually is not being seen as a surefire relegation candidate. No, rather more mid table, uh, like where Hertha is. And Hertha is, uh, you know, kind of this new rich team that wants to uh, do something. Schalke though, is really, really, really looking bad. Uh, Schalke is in serious trouble this time around and Augsburg is always teetering on the brink there. So let's see what the first round brings and it's the, the openness. I mean, it would be, a, by the name, this is a great uh, matchup, Bayern against Schalke. I just think this will be a very easy Bayern victory because Schalke is in such poor form. Then we have a great Saturday afternoon with, uh, I think, five matches. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, uh, the Southern Derby between Stuttgart and Freiburg, I think, is particularly enticing, but also Bremen against Hertha. That sounds like a good matchup. Then the big matchup is Saturday in the afternoon, Dortmund against Gladbach. I mean, this is two Champions League teams meeting right in the first round. What do you want more? Um, and then Leipzig minds that there are probably goals in there because both games were very lopsided in favor of Leipzig last season. And what's good, Leverkusen is also not a bad matchup. Let's leave Germany and let's go where actually some stuff was played in Austria. Lask Austria should have been, and I know many people find it funny that there's a team in Austria called Austria. Yes, it is called that way, and yes, it's not red and white, it's uh, purple and white, and there are more Austria teams. There's one in Lustenau, they used, there's one in Salzburg, so there used to be one in Klagenfurt, and most of them are purple, except for Lustenau, which for some reason is green and white, which doesn't make much sense. Anyway, uh, so this should have been the opener, but due to the European exploits of Rapid, uh, their game has been moved to Friday to allow them a little bit more preparation time for the clash with Ghent. I will do a quick uh, preview of the Champions League qualification round. Uh, in an uh, upcoming video. Uh, they played against a hapless Admira team in front of spectators and there were 10,000 in Vienna, uh, uh, I think almost 5,000 in Linz. I know the situation in Austria is uh, on the edge, but at the moment there uh, are very limited spectators, so it's it looks like a normal Bundesliga, the Bundesliga is not known for their, uh, Austrian Bundesliga is not known for their full stadia uh, to begin with. But yeah, it was a rather easy win for them. I think they were 3-0 uh, up, then 3-1, and in the end they made it 4-1. Uh, with Fontas made two, two, two goals, and then yeah, it was utter destruction. The last Austria game, though, was a very interesting one. Austria had a horrible last season, and they wanted to get in, and Lask, of course, uh, really wants to build. I mean, they still have the status, although it's not challenged by Rapid, as the second best team in Austria. Not by budget, but by the way they have been playing as of recent. 
And Austria actually wants to improve uh, despite not having lots, loads of money. And I have to say, Austria really started uh, the game very strong, but it, after a few, few minutes, Lars clearly took over and chance after chance, and it's the same old story, you don't convert the chances. There was so much pressure. Austria also going in there with quite some um, toughness, which, you know, a uh, good referee maybe would have given uh, yellow, yellow card a little bit sooner, and then a clear penalty on Filipovic, where he was pulled on the shirt. I don't know why that wasn't given. Uh, you know, when you play against teams from 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 Vienna, whistle swallowing is a real real uh, issue. Uh, Alask gets the breakthrough at that point where I thought, oh, now the pressure is over. But it was a really nice free kick by Michal that Gruber, you know, is standing at the near near post and then gets uh, does it on, in, into the far uh, corner of the goal where it just goes into the post. The goalie could have probably saved it, but it was a more than well deserved uh, lead for Lask. Although Austria had a pretty good chance through Monshine in the first half, uh, too, which would have been just fit. The way this game game is going, you pressure, you don't make make goals, and you end up um, conceding. Uh, second half was more even again, bigger chances for Lask, especially in the first uh, 20, 30, 30 minutes. Although Austria again came out for five minutes, really uh, tough and much improved. Lask should have made it too. I cannot say it any differently, and there should have been another penalty given. But yeah, uh, despite all the all the chances, they don't make it. And then the last 10 minutes, Austria has two clear chances that fortunately do not go in. And yeah, it was a labored victory. But I think, you know, for first, a new, new coach, everything new, uh, new jersey VH, I actually like. Might have to look into it. And yeah, uh, gets a 1 0 uh, win for Lask. Should, you know, it was one of the, all those games where both coaches at the end were kind of satisfied. One uh, because they won and, you know, had a good joint. The other one saw the also Austria, Peter Stöger, who used to be at Dortmund and Köln, uh, kind of also saying, you yeah, know, I saw positive things moving forward. Yes, I would have liked to get something out of the other game, but it was not, was not a negative game. Uh, then we also had a draw between Altach and Hartberg on Saturday, which was the only game. I think Altach had a lead at halftime. And, and then on Sunday, uh, between Ried and Tirol was a crazy game, where Tirol twice had the lead in the first half. And up until late in, in the game, then Ried manages to equalize. I think 10 minutes, with 10 minutes to go. Let me just check. Yeah, almost. Uh, with a penalty, the, the two penalties for Ried given. Uh, and then it deep into stoppage time, uh, uh, Grubeck makes it 3 2 for Ried, so the promoted team gets a win against probably the, uh, the team that everyone that should have been re re relegated if it wasn't for Matos Buktis integrating uh, due to financial collapse. So, yeah, a uh, big win for them. Uh, Ried, of course, is a local rival of Lusk, so not too happy about it. St. Burton and Sturm play 0 0. And Wolfsburg Salzburg uh, was the big game to start uh, the um, the season. It basically, the most important scene happened during 16 minutes when a uh, defender uh, Lochos really uh, for Wolfsburg got sent off because he held the uh, Daka back. Uh, Salzburg has one shot on goal and makes two goals from that because it was an own goal to make it uh, one nil for Sal Salzburg and Daka at the second one. Although the Dhaka was there on the, at the own goal as well. Um, and then, yeah, Wolfsburg had at one point uh, two shots that hit only the post. Koita makes it 3 0, and very late, Wolfsburg gets a goal, make it 3 1. So the first table in Austria is not one that uh, should be paid too much credence to. Uh, we have the big teams, except to read, uh, on top, and everything else is still very much. Influx, uh, the gold average though, 2.833, that sounds pretty pro promising. Uh, as for chances, the only thing is that Rapid Salzburg and Lask have increased their chances with the wins to make it into the championship round. The next round, uh, I find interesting that Lask and Ried are changing their opponents, but now also with um, home field advantage count, the big game is probably Sturm against Rapid. That's uh, uh, always a good duel. And yeah, uh, Wolfsburg against Hartberg could also be interesting. Uh, those are two European teams, Austria Ried. 
this seems to be a little bit of a letdown later. Anyway, this is my information on the Austrian Bundesliga. If you've seen anything from there, let, let me know. Uh, other, other than that, if you've uh, let me know what you think about the upcoming German Bundesliga and now with the best team of Europe. Uh, yeah, it should be these guys, but it's unfortunately these guys in there as well. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.